What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what is we often for in Oh, needless friends we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trial temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? Jesus knows of every part. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Thou will find a solace there. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall in. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it. To the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows of every weakness, Lord. Uh, take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Cambled with the Lord of care, precious Savior, still our refuse. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise, forsake thee? Take it with the Lord in prayer. In in his arms he take and shield thee. Thou will find a solace there. Praise God. Praise God. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning, family in Christ. I want to give God some praise. I want to give him some thanks because he's mighty to save. He's strong to deliver. The word of God said he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He's the mighty Russian winner. He promised that he will guide and protect us and keep us in the bond of peace. He said all we need to do is to knock and the door shall be open and seek and shall find. Today we are seeking our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has brought us from shame and disgrace that brought us into the unto him where he is the reader of our heart and the search of our minds i learned that all we need to do is to call upon god in spirit and in truth to call upon him with loving gratitude knowing that he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I continue using that word, and I just know why most of the time. But whatever the purpose is, God change it not. Most of the time, we 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 tends to you know think that God changed 
you know, the God that he is for me is not the same God he was for my mother and the same God he was for your family and your friend. God does not change. He is the same God yesterday and he is the same God today. One of the things we learn within the word of God is that we have the, the Bible for our guardian and our guide, you know, out of the old commit new. And because we are children of the light, the Lord promised that if we knock, he will send us a comforter. Today, the comforter has come. Jesus said that he gone to prepare a place that where he is, we may be also. So we know that that comforter, which is the Holy Spirit that come and will teach us all things. So we have to understand. You see this word, all things, man doesn't, we are, we are not understanding the word all things. He didn't say that it's going to teach us some things, but he said it will teach us all things. So whatever you ask of God in my name, that's what he said, you know, we have to ask in my name. For I am the way, the truth, and the light. You have to ask in my name. So brethren, this morning, I am asking the Lord for comfort and ask him to grant me that strength, grant us that strength and courage to take it one day at a time, knowing that he is the reader of our hearts and the searcher of our mind. He promised that he will not leave us comfortless. He's the same God that we call on morning, noon, and night. He will be our director in the time of trouble. And I have always in my life, depending upon that God, that, that, that spirit, you know. And yeah, the spirit of God has never failed me. All through my life, all through my walk, through thick and thin, when it good, when it bad. Holy Spirit have always been there for me. And I am grateful to God for, you know, bringing me from one stage onto another where I could glorify and where I could give you all a word of consolation so that you all could keep climbing regardless of what happened in our lives, you know, keep climbing, keep climbing, knowing from whence come at your help. Don't give up. Call upon God in spirit and in truth. He said he wants a broken and a contrived heart and he promised he will not, he will not despise. And all we need to do is to give God our all and he will take it. There is nothing else we could do. I trust that the Lord keep us in the bond of peace, keep us in love and unity, teach us how to love. One of the things that I am learning, people don't know how to love. They don't know. Love is not what man think about. I give you some food that is love. Anybody can do that. You know, you're going down the road, you see somebody begging by the way, you give them a dollar. You feel good to do that. To me, love is knowing somebody. Love is sharing with somebody. And I don't mean by just having you. Love is just meeting. Sometimes you meet somebody, you don't know them, but you feel this, this closeness towards that person. We have to learn how to love and how to share the love, how to make people feel comfortable in our presence. It's not something that I am used to, but something I'm getting accustomed to. You know, because we live in a world where you always fear or you're not a fear really, but he does not know. Some people are not, you know, approachable. But with God, all things are possible. And he promised that he will not leave us comfortless. Give me your heart, I won't give you the kingdom. And I believe, you know, I am a believer. I am a believer in the spirit of God. I am, be I am a believer in the in the power of God. I'm a believer in the glory of God. I'm a believer because when I look for where I come from to where I am, <laughs> I couldn't dream that. I could have never had this dream. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't write the story. It wouldn't be the same. God have a plan for all of us. This morning, family, we want to thank God for choosing us, for the plan that he see fit for us. I want to glorify him because he's God all by himself. And I love God with my whole heart, my body, my soul, my wow. spirit. You know, I always talk to him. I say, I want to see you for myself and not another. 
I want to talk to you. I want to feel your presence. I want to feel this love, this this Shekinah glory, this 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 you know this radiant that God give you. That when he that when the Holy Spirit of God pass away to stand up, you can't stand up. Sit down, you can't stand up. You you're feeling. Ah, you have to be touched to understand what I am speaking about. That sweetness, that sweetness that is unspeakable. You know, some people go through life and they've never felt the love of God. They never felt Holy Ghost. They never felt, they never feel different. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I cannot explain it, but huh, I know that you cannot contain that. <laughs> That feeling that God does give you, you can't contain it no matter you try. You can't get it, it's, it, you know. But it only comes when the Holy Spirit of God pour it upon you. Only, 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 only God could do that. And I love that feeling. I love that, that joy unspeakable. I pray, God, brethren, that each of us that is in the song of my voice have felt the power of Almighty God. But I know that when you feel the power of Almighty God, you cannot go back. You cannot go back to filth after you feel the sweetness of God because it is in you. Everything else, you're turning up your nose because you know what? It's like poop, it smells. But when you're with Christ, you smell like a rose, you're untouchable. Feel that connection. When you feel that connection, when it's not there, you know. So I pray that the Lord will continue to bless us this morning and give us that endurance spirit that we may be able to continue serving God with a broken and a contrived heart, with love and unity. We would pass on some love to someone that needs it. I don't even know is that what they need, you know. Some people don't know that is, that is what they need. But we all know that this morning that we need God. I want to bring a, um, a psalm for you this morning. To give God, giving God praise. And it's coming from the 30th psalm. I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger enjoyed for a moment, but in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved from. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cry unto thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou, thou, hast, put off, thou hast put off my sackcloth and girdled me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thee thanks unto thee forever. I want to thank thee for this words and I pray this morning that the Lord will guide us through. Family in Christ, I hope you all had a happy Mother's Day. And I pray, oh God, that we will continue to have a blessed week. In the name of Jesus, as we bow our heads, begging God for mercy, confessing our faults before God, before we are about to go in to give him praise. So may we bow our heads this morning, Lord, remembering all those that have needs and wants. Eternal and ever wise God.
Father, from earth to heaven this morning, I called upon the divine power of God. From the east, the west, the north, and the south of God, from every angle of the globe, I called upon the divine power of God. Father, Lord, you are acquainted with your children, Jesus. We come to give you thanks, praise, and honor for your blessing that you have been stored upon your children, Jesus. This morning, oh God, we give you praise, we give you thanks, we thank you, we thank you, we glorify your name, for your name is worthy to be held in council. And thank you this morning for making intercession for us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to grow in grace. Help us to walk and be not weary. Help us to lift our eyes from whence coming to our help, knowing that you are the reader of heart and you are the searcher of mind. This morning, we cannot lie to you, oh God. For you know our heart's desire and you know what we are about to do, Lord, even be before we even think it. For you said in Jeremiah, Lord, that of you had known us from since we were in our mother's womb and you form us and you fashion us, Lord. So nothing, Lord, is a surprise to you this morning, oh Lord. But we come in before your God in meek humility, begging for mercy, oh God, as we climb this, this, this treader, Jesus, another treader master. I learn, oh Lord, in life, Jesus, that every treader, Lord, the fight becomes stronger. Help us, oh God, Lord, to lift our eyes, Lord, and rest our feet where we could see. I thank you this morning for taking the scale of our eyes, oh God, that we may be able to see. We may be able to acknowledge, Lord, from whence coming to our help. We may be able this morning, Lord, to love one another. Because, Lord, you said when you leave and to love you one another as I have loved you. This morning, Lord, it's not easy, blessed Father. But we beg you to give us the courage, oh God, that we may be able to look beyond man's faults, oh God. And look at the glory of God this morning, Father. Because one day, Lord, you said you fashion us in your own image and your own likeness, Lord. This morning, and you give us power over all things, the fish of the sea, Lord. And everything that moveth upon the face of the earth, you give us authority this morning. Help us, oh God, to stand. Help us, oh God, Lord, to stand the Lord where thou want us to stand. Help us, oh God, Lord, to do the things that you, Lord, give us authority to give this morning. Take away the fear, Lord. Take away the fear this morning, Lord, Lord, because you didn't give us, Lord, the power of fear, but of our song, mind, and love. Oh God, help our minds and our thought to be in one, Jesus. Father, oh God, help us not to be drifting here and there like on thinking us to battle. This morning, oh God, Lord, help us to stand firm in the liberty where you, Jesus, shall set us free. Father, Lord, we come in because we need that support. We need that strength. We need that courage. We need that divine power this morning. I know, Lord God, you are the great redeemer. I know, Lord, there is nothing, Lord, that you cannot do this morning. But build our faith, build our courage, help us to endure to the end. Help us to run this race with patience. Knowing this morning that you are our burden bearer this morning, oh God, Lord, God. Father, save us this morning, dear Jesus. You are our refuge this morning, oh God. You are our guiding angel. You are the God of yesterday, Father. Help us to walk this perfect walk. Help us to walk, oh God, in unity with the spirit of truth. Help us to stand firm this morning, oh God. Help us not to lead unto our own understanding, Jesus, but help us, Lord, to call upon you, Jesus, Father and friend this morning. Pass by the hospital cut this morning, oh God. Father, those that lie on a bed of affliction, Jesus, that don't know from whence coming the help, this morning I intervene on their behalf, oh God. This morning, Lord, I'm praying for the doctors and the nurses, oh God, and all those that are on, the, on that track, Lord. Father, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you guide, protect, govern, direct them, keep them from all harm, hurt, and danger. This morning, surround them with love and unity. Surround them with positive men and women this morning, Father. Father, Lord, you are the God that I call upon daily. Father, you are the same God, Jesus, that are depending upon night and day. Remember, Bishop Ashby, your God, you know the man's heart desire, you know his soul determination. 
Father, pain, rock any mortal body, will go the mortal man fainting by the way, Jesus. But I beg you to give him strength and courage to endure. Help him to run this race with patience. Father, help him, oh God, Lord, to call upon you, Jesus, in spirit and in truth. For thou art the way, the truth, and the light. Send medicine to suit his complaint. Father, Lord God of Israel, take charge if thou be so pleased. This morning, Lord, we come in because we need you. We need a friend. Father, you know our hearts desire, you know, soul determination. Father, Lord, they're all depending upon you night and day. They're all calling upon you, Jesus. Oh, God, I beg you to fix them to suit you, Jesus. I know, Lord, there is nothing, Lord, that you cannot do. I know that, Lord, that your eyes is not closed. I know you're not blind. I know your ears are deaf. Father, I know your hands are not short this morning. Father, I know, Lord, that you speak and it was done. I know, Lord, you touch the lightning by your tip of your finger. This morning, thou son of Israel, oh God, Lord, God of Israel, I bring them all in. In thankful hand, Father, and I heal in them unto you this morning. I'm coming, Lord, because I am the child of God, Lord. I am the one you anointed for the purpose, Jesus. Father, Lord, I came to you, Jesus, and I knock at the door. And Lord God, you hear and you answer prayer. Father, Lord, you give me a charge, oh Lord, and you tell me a charge to keep I have and a God to glorify and ever dying soul to save that one day, Jesus, I may be fitted for the sky. This morning, oh God, help me to do your will and to do it in spirit and in truth. Help me not to add, not to take away, but help me to stand at the door, Jesus, and pipe your everlasting gospel calling sinners unto repentance. This morning, this whole world at large, Jesus, oh God, Lord, God, remember those that govern over us, Jesus. Remember the president of God. I bring him in thankful and Jesus. Father, you know all things concerning him, Lord God. Father, but I beg you, oh God, Jesus, holy hand, Lord Jesus. Hold the man hand if thou be so pleased. Father, Lord, I depend upon you, Lord. Father, depending upon you, look at Trinidad land, oh God. Father, Lord, you know what I want to tell thee this morning. But I beg in your God to help me, O oh God, to do thy will and to do it in spirit and in truth. Father, thou art the way, the truth, and the light. Father, you say, man, have not because they ask God. You say, knock and the door shall be open. You say, seek and we shall find. This morning, we seek in your tender mercy. Father, we seek in your loving kindness. We seek in our healing from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Father, oh God, fix us, Lord, so we could serve you, so that we could tell man how sweet the name of Jesus' song, only in a believer here. Yeah. This morning, I know you suit my sorrow. You heal me wound. I know, God, you drive me fears away. So I, Lord, this morning, bow and wrap you down to see this morning the place where Jesus lay. Father, Lord, thou son of God. Take charge of every church and chapel, every minister and staff, every church of worship. This morning, take charge. Father, I need not call them one by one. There's so much to mention this morning. But I beg you, oh God, to guide us, oh Lord, great Jehovah. Father, we are about to go back within the house of God. Help us, oh God, to go in with a different mind, a different concept. We want to serve you with a broken and a contrite heart. Let Satan have no dominion over us this morning. But, oh God, anoint us, Lord, with your word. Anoint us, Lord, with your salvation. Anoint us this morning with your glory. Anoint us, oh God, this morning with your divine power, Jesus, that we may be able to call upon you this morning. Father, remember us as you remember the men on the ocean, Jesus, the fishermen. Oh God, when they call upon you, Jesus, Father, God, you speak and it was done. Holy and adorable King. Father, what more can I tell you? but to tell you that I love you with all my heart. I depend upon you for the food I eat, the clothes I wear. All of us, Lord, in the song of my voice, we depend upon you, Lord. And we thank you and we glorify you because you are good to mankind, Jesus. Father, you have been good us, oh God. Help us this morning to do thy will. Help us to do it in spirit and in truth. Father, and where there is weakness within our mortal body this morning, God, I beg you to build us, in, build us in grace, build us in strength, and give us that courage to go on day after day and night after night. Bend them upon your Lord, cover us under your blood, and it's only by thy blood we shall be saved this morning, only by your blood. 
I depend upon your God. And I beg you, O oh God, at this time, Jesus, to keep us in the bond of peace. You are my redeemer. You are the great tetragrammaton. You are the sovereign God. You are the God of yesterday, Jesus. Bless us now, if you please, O oh God. Help us, Lord, to do thy will. Help us this morning, Father. Assist our need. Grant us all that need. Hold us in the palm of thy hand. Never to let us go this morning. While you teach me to say, our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever and ever. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us from Take our soul to heaven and help, especially those who most in need. Oh, clement, oh, love, and oh, pray for us, oh, holy mother of God, that we make worthy the promises of Christ. Father, this morning we thank you, Lord. Father, bless us all. Bless us, Lord, these 10 people, Lord, that is here today, oh God. If your blessing is small as a mustard seed, I play hard. You share it from heart to heart, oh God. And grant us that love, oh God. That love, Lord, that you said that when you go, love you one another, Father, I thank you. Bishop Ashby. Bless, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We glorify the almighty God once more, and we seek him uh, for his continued showers of blessing in which he has bestowed upon us day after day, night after night, from our birth unto this present time, and how he has sustained us, and for this we give him thanks. Uh, we glory God uh, today in that we, one more time, as I have Say, say time and time again, we are yet alive in the land of the living. Amen. And we learn where there is life, there is liberty. And where there is liberty, there is an opportunity whereby, peradventure, if we are not walking according to God's will, we would be able to change our ways and our action that we may be aligned in one accord. Amen. Our lesson today uh, will be taken from Romans, the 15th chapter, from the first verse. In no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Romans, the 15th chapter, from the first verse. I can hear my Savior for you. I can hear my Savior for I'll go with him, with him, all the way. I'll go with him to the judgment. I'll go with him to the judgment. I'll go with him. To the in the valley, waiting, waiting. Oh, praise God! Praise the Lord! Here begin the reading of Romans, the fifteenth chapter, from the first verse, and not the name, but in Jesus' almighty name. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written afar time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the God of patience and cons consolation grant you uh, to be like-minded like one to another according to Christ Jesus, that ye may be one mind and one mouth glorifying God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another as Christ also received us, to the glory of God. Here at the post in God's holy word, containing seven verses. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, where without end. Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lived my burden down. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lived my burden down. The, the Bible speaks, or the song right declares, declares uh, 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 laying burdens down, laying aside your cares, placing all your, your cares and your wants upon uh, at the foot of the cross, whereby Jesus can exchange it for sin. We stand now in the gap whereby, you know, we can do nothing of ourselves, for we have no strength or no power of our own. We can't make a, 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 a black hair white. We cannot even save ourselves. For the Bible tells us we are inadequate within the flesh. But yeah. the Spirit is able to accomplish the things that the, the flesh is in, incapable of, of, of even understanding. And we stand here relying upon that mediator who is Christ Jesus, you know, to, 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 to bring us through. Because sometimes we, we stand in a, in a valley of decision, whether we go right or whether we go left, whether we yield to the flesh or whether we yield to the spirit. Sometimes we come as doubting Thomas. You know, we, when we see the flesh, you know, we, we, there, there, there is a, a thing that we call uh, being accustomed with. We're accustomed with running to the flesh uh, for, for survival or for reassurance. So oftentimes when trouble befall us, uh, befall us we run to the flesh. But the Bible tells us, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness shall be added unto us. We have to be like-minded with Christ in order to receive the things of God. Romans, the 15th chapter, tells us, it says, we then that are strong. It, it, it's coming now as when the Bible tell, uh, tells us that, uh, uh, he told Peter, he said, Peter, when thou art converted, feed my sheep. We yes, cannot sir. feed unless we have been fed. We cannot mm -hmm. nourish unless we ourselves have been nourished of the Hallelujah. same food in which we are trying to push down somebody's throat. Sometimes we are trying to force somebody, uh, uh, our, our brethren, to eat something we are not even able to consume of ourselves. Having them or mm -hmm. uh, uh, placing God in, in such, uh, 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 such a distance or such a part from us that we also cannot even attain unto it. But I want to tell you, God is there. God is nigh unto us, and he's there to answer to each and every one of our prayers. It says, when then, it says, we then that are strong. Man must know this self. You have to know your strength, and you have to know your weaknesses. You, know it, you have to know if you're able and capable to restore someone from infirmities, or if you yourself are in need of being rest, restored yourself. Sometimes we, we, we want to... As I think we read it somewhere yesterday in, in, a, in the lesson that was brought. We, we, we thinking more highly than we ought to think or trying to place ourselves in a situation where uh, we are not capable of handling um, uh, that particular situation. But we want to appear unto man as knowing. Many of us, if we ask a question concerning God, many of us will say, well, I know, I know, I didn't know that. But if we know, the Bible tells us those who know better will do better. It is vain for us, as the Bible said, to rise up early, sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow. So if you know what is right, or that good and acceptable will of God, you will attain to it. We have an understanding, but we not we, we have a knowledge of it, but we don't have the understanding of it. Because if we understand, if we sow, we're going to reap, we would sow a little more, instead of wanting to reap that we didn't sow. And the Bible tells us there, when... We are strong. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. It is an order. It is a requirement. It says if you are strong, you ought to bear. It's saying you're supposed to bear. When it say bear, you're supposed to take on. If, you, if a brother be overtaken in a fall, the Bible tells us, ye who are holy, you, you, you who are strong, Restore them in love. Oh, it says what? Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Understand, you have a power that the ungodly man does not have. You Amen. have an ability and the reassurance 
that, that, that the ungodly man uh, 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 is still seeking. Because we look, or we hear, we, we, we heard of the, the story about the Jews. The Jews are still waiting for Messiah. They're still waiting for somebody to redeem them. But my Redeemer has already come. He said he shall come again to receive us into his arms, into his loving arms. And that's only if we are grounded, if we are strong in the Lord, and if we are bearing the infirmities of one another, of the weak. And it says what? And not to please ourselves. Sometimes when God bless us, we want to keep it for ourselves. We want to use it for our own benefit. We want to get rich off of it. We want to, you know, glorify ourselves. But the Bible tells us here, it is not for you. Not that you please yourself. The second verse tells us, it said, let every one of us please his neighbor for his, for his good to edify, ed edification. It is written, some people don't like the King James Version because it, um, you have to get a real understanding to interpret. Because it's telling us here, it says, let every one of us please his neighbor. And it's to please what? You have to... Treat your neighbor as yourself, such as you've done unto one of these little ones, you've done it unto me. And it says, for his good, and it says his good, not for your neighbor's good, you know, it is for your good. When you are treating your neighbor good, it is for your edification. And once you are edif edified, you are able to then teach others. The third verse says, it says, for even Christ, Please not himself, but as it is written, the report of them that reports the fall on me. So whatever infirmities, whatever situation that Christ met anyone with, he took it unto himself. This is the reason why he is known as the burden bearer. He takes on our situation and he encompasses it within himself. This is the reason why from time to time Christ went and separated himself and called upon God that he may be able to renew strength or get the strength enough that he needs in order to perform the task in which he's about to, 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 to do. Many times I often go back to Lazarus. Jesus called upon Lazarus. He said, Father, not for my sake, but for the sake of them. Grant me now the assurance, the authority that when I call Lazarus, he would be awoken from the grave. Those that stood around look and say, well, Lazarus dead almost four days. He's thinking, how can he call him from the dead? The dead. But with God, all things are possible to those who believe. Amen. Jesus didn't come and just heal. He took on the, the issues and the problems. Amen. Many times in the spiritual faith, we hear people say, we are going to do our work. Oh, and God has instruct me. They, they attire themselves in a certain manner so that whatever they're about to perform, whatever spirit they're about to release, would not encompass them or overtake them. Re realizing this, whatever you take out, it has to go someplace. Jesus went, and when the man was filled with the number of spirits, he took the spirit out and he cast it into the swine. That which comes out has to go someplace. Understand, many of us, we want to play with spirit and we want to play with God. But unless you have the authority, God is going to lick you up or the devil is going to lick you up. Because I remember that man come before Christ, before the spirit of God. And he tried to perform this or that. And he said, what authority? Who are you? I know Christ. I know Paul, but who are you? By what authority we come in before God, unless God gives us, unless we have been anointed, we are walking the walk and talking the talk that God would, would find us what fit for the master's use. Unless Amen. we be found as vessels of honor, we will not be used, or we will be used, but not for, not for purpose, not for goodness. And when I say not for goodness, I mean not as a vessel of honor, sometimes God uses us as vessels of dishonor that we may be able to strengthen those who are still weak or give us the reassurance who are walking right to continue to walk.
because the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So let us take on the issues. Let us bear one another's burden. It tells us in the fourth verse, whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, for our learning that we may be able to study to show ourselves approved, <coughs> that we would <coughs> we will be able to learn and not burn. Learn and not burn. This is the this is the the, the, the situation that we are in right now. Either we take heed or we will suffer the consequences of hell's fire. The fifth verse, the fifth verse tells us, it says, Now the God of patience and consola consolation grant you to be like-minded minded one to another according to Christ, Jesus Christ. <coughs> God is patient. God is present. God does not want us just to be found just in the image of him, but he wants us to be like-minded in spirit. Most people say, when you see me, you see the image of God. But what about your spirit? When I see you, I see the spirit, the likeness of God. But what about your spirit? Do you possess the spirit of God? Or you are an empty vessel? Empty vessel making much noise, having the appearance of godliness, but, the, but far from the knowledge thereof. God wants us to be like-minded in one accord, like-minded one together according to Christ Jesus. And he's the mediator. The Bible tells us God is not an author of confusion. Man. So if we are working for Christ, we'll be working hand in hand. The Bible speaks about fitly joined together, nothing sticking out, nothing out of place. Every one of us doing what we're supposed to do. I often refer to the Patriots model. Do your job. Don't worry about what the neighbor doing. Don't worry if they're doing or not doing. Do your job. Do what is, it, it, is required of you or God has called you to do. The sixth verse tells us that he, and, and it's saying, well, once you do all these now, this is the purpose why you're doing and, and, and you're, you're, you're taking on the, the infirmities of your brothers and sisters. What? That he may with one mind and one mouth glorify God. God doesn't want us speaking from the side of his mouth or lip service. God doesn't want us speaking with double tongue. God wants us to be like-minded and speaking the same thing, glorifying God. The, 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 whew, it, is, it is written, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? We must be in one accord. It tells us in the seventh verse, it says, Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. So we ought not to condemn one another. We ought not to backbite one another. The scripture tells us, if you, if a brother, if you, you are holy, you are righteous. Find a brother overtaken in a fault. It is our duty, our job. The Bible tells us everywhere Jesus went, he was doing good. He wasn't saying, no, this, this is, this is an ungodly man, I ain't gonna heal him. He didn't say, no, I didn't, I, I, that man, you know, backbite me or he threw a stone at me yesterday. Despite our circumstances, despite how we backbite against God, he, his arms are ever open. So why can we not bear the infirmities of one another? Why cannot we, if our brother or sister is in sorrow, why can't we bear that infirmity with them? When we are rejoicing, we want to be found in a rejoicing place with our brothers and sisters. But when they are in sorrow, we ought to, to bear that same infirmities with them. That we be in one accord, like-minded, one spirit, one baptism, one hope, one heaven, 
and one salvation. There isn't many, but there is one salvation, and it is through Christ. And I pray, God, that we truly bear the infirmities of one another. Don't just see your brother fall and kick him down or back back him, back, back, back him or shoo shoo. <clears throat> Let us pray that our bro brothers and sisters be restored. The Bible tells us prayer changes things. Paul was in prison and the Israelites prayed and the prison gates were opened unto him. If it happened then, it could happen now. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. We fail to apply ourselves. We, play, we fail to seek Him as we should. We feel to, to within ourselves, you know, that was in the days of old. Those things ain't happening now. But just, did Jesus lie? Is Jesus a liar? When He said, greater works than these we shall do? We're not even doing the things that He did. We're not even forgiving our brothers and our sisters. We're not even restoring them in love. But we want love. When we falter, we want somebody to restore us. When we falter, we want somebody to have compassion. We want somebody to come and, and give us words of consolation. But where are you when, when I fall? When more are going down on the ground? They humble. They do every, you know, they do all the time. But when somebody else is going, you know, I'm too busy. I have this to do, I have that to do. The same love that you want somebody to come to show you, show it to one another. Spiritual family, bearing one another's infirmities and restoring them is how we receive blessings. Jesus said, Father, all that you have given unto me not have been lost. Mm -hmm. I have done as thou hast instructed me to do. When he was on the cross, what did he say? Father, Lord, it is finished. It is finished. I've done what I have come to do. But he has told us and given us instruction. Go ye into all the world and preach the everlasting gospel. Baptizing them in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember, baptism is an outward sign to that inward grace, but that the, the, the initiation must take place. First take place within your spirit. How can you go to the water unless your spirit directs you, unless you've been converted? I pray God today that we stir up that dormant spirit that lies within us. Awake. Awaken that spirit that, 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 that is asleep. That it may live, that it may take the forefront. That it may direct us what we ought to do, where we ought to go, and what we ought to say. Spiritual family, this is the prayer of my heart in order to name and in Jesus, Almighty name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Given honor and glory to Almighty God. Family in Christ. The Lord is telling us, telling us about being of one accord and one mind. In order for you and I to be able to bear one another burden, we have to be in one accord. If we are not in one accord, as Bishop said, we wouldn't be able to assist because we'll be selfish. And there is a lot of selfish people in the world. It's about I and I and I. But the Lord didn't give us to be selfish. So carnally, so spiritually. If you're, if you're selfish carnally, you will be selfish spiritually. Because it's all about you. And when you're all about you, you cannot save anybody. So the Lord is not going to make you or put you in a position that the Lord knows that you cannot do. The Lord doesn't give us anything to carry that he know that we cannot the Lord give us to carry because you know that we are able. You know, I always say I never see this in myself, but God saw something in me that I didn't see. And that is what he's seen all of us. What the Lord seen you, you ain't seen yourself. When you, you know, you, I hear it all, all the time. I hear it from different people. 
I'm not expecting this, I'm not this, but there is something in us. The Lord just wants us to look deep in within ourselves and we will find compassion. We will find love. We will find unity. When he was going, he said, love you one another as I have loved you. Give us a key. That if you love me, say, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Peter, when you're converted, feed them. He gave us a word. It is only when you are transformed by the renewing of your mind and be not conformed unto this world can you bear your brother weakness. It's only then. If you're still full of yourself, you cannot help nobody because you have to forsake you. You have to give self-arrest. And all our problem is because our self-righteousness, our self, everything is about me and me and me. No. You must be an example to others so they can want to make the change. And you cannot make any change with anybody unless they choose. You have to ready. I learned this week from one of our sisters that let me know, you can preach from now till never every morning until that person is ready and open their heart to accept your preaching in vain. You're setting up late, you're rising early and you're going to eat the bread of sorry. That person has to be ready to accept it as nothing you're saying makes sense. So we have to go to God and ask the Lord God to help that person. We have to pray for them through Jesus Christ. But if you're going to them, you're wasting your time because they close up. So this morning, brethren, the Bible tells us about being in one accord, one mind, one body, one soul, one spirit. We have to have fellowship in the spirit of God. And remember, when we have fellowship, you don't have to tell man, man to see it. From the time you're walking, your, 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 your charisma will take over and, and, and everybody comes into one. But you have to be the light that shineth in that darkness. And that could only happen when you, the individual person that is going to, you, with a message or going to help in front of you, you have to go with love. If you go without love, so family, be careful. Make sure that you're in one accord with God. With God, all things are possible to those that diligently seek him. Nothing is hidden. There is nothing hidden anywhere that we cannot get and we cannot touch. If it is thy will, then thy will must be done. So be courageous in our walk with God. Remember some days it will be rough and some days it will be tough. The flesh is weak. This is why we have to drop off this flesh. When we go to fast, we have to drop off this. Oh gosh, you have to go through a whole thing. The only when this body is, is not in motion does God come. We have to humble ourselves. We have to give up the ghost. We have to humble and we have to say, Father, thy will must be done. It's all up to you. When we don't know what to say and we don't want to be silent and pray, and let God have his way. Today, brethren, God is having his way in all of us life. In all of us life. You may, may not see it. You may not hear it. But I want to tell you, those that you're not hearing is worse than you think. People are crying out. So let us try to live together in one. Let us try to love one another. Before anything can happen, brethren, we have to have love, 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 love. We cannot be selfish, all about I and I and I. You see somebody going down on you. You're sitting on you, watching them going down in the drain. They're going to die. Are you, are you my brother's keeper? Don't talk it. Live it. Do something about it. I am fed up hearing people talking, 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 and they're doing nothing. We're in the same boat yesterday. We're in the same boat today. Am I my brother keeper? Ask yourself the question. I ain't saying that you have to leave yourself undone. Because if you are fixed, you can't fix me. 
what I am saying here, brethren, is let us pray for each other. Only, only by the powers of God and wait, wait to be sent. Too many times we go in without, like on thinking what's the battle. When the Lord ready is going to send you. When the Lord ready. <laughs> I am an example. When the Lord ready, brethren, he ain't going to tell nobody to tell you. telling you yourself. Just wait on Lord and pray. And in your waiting, study to show yourself approved. Study the word of God. Read. Understand, give words of consolation, tear man up. And when the Lord ready to send you now to deliver the message, he will. So family in Christ, I want to leave you with a word, and the word is let us try to be in one accord. I thank God for Bishop Ashby and the word. I pray my God that he will continue to redeem him and grant him that strength that he will be able to cover us under the blood with the word of God. May God bless you all. May he cause his face to shine upon you all and grant you all peace. Hey, Eddie.